Nelet herain. Dan karmenik. Siberia farhun. Amar nane dezoras. Aragor. Nedim dagor. Hen urir authori. Nathar dagor thayar. Then I shall die as one of them. Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sanas channel, my name is Shanks and today we are going to take a look into the Lothlorien faction in the Return of Shadow mod for Battle for Middle Earth 1 solo play, skirmish and this time with the Lothlorien faction and I would like to play a 1v2 situation just to be able to unlock every single power point from the spellbook. So give me a second, let's choose Kear Andros and choose one as Balance Army and one as Rush Army, this way we can also see the differences between uh, these two different hard army possibilities and also look how many colors we got holy quackamole i'm going to choose red all right team one against team two let's pick this spot so we have both the opponents in front of us and let's get it started kerandros this is also like a free for all map uh, for a 1v1v1 situation in battle for middle of one i know this map i've been playing many many games on this map already but in the past of course so that's the base of Lothlorien. So when you go out, the gate is going to be automatically opening. And for the resource buildings, we have the Lorien Orchard. L is the resource building. And we have also more money to start the game with. Wood crafters. Wood is a resource and provides wood and fletching upgrades. So let's do that also just to see how they are looking like. Not a well. We don't need a well. What we need is something else. We need... Actually, it's very confusing. When I press W... It's building a well, even though it says the shotgun is W for the woodcutters. So it's pretty confusing, but it's fine. So at the beginning of the game, we have, the, we have those uh, Lorien archers. So very interesting, because normally you don't open with archers with any faction I know in Battle for Middle Earth 1 and also in the mods. But it's fine. Archers are kind of busted, to be honest, because with archers you can creep easily. And also the design of the map, or of the base rather, doesn't look too shabby. Powerpoint wise, we have of course the heal. Heal's units replaces one dead man per battalion, and also the Elvin Wood for 50% increased armor. And units from the enemy are losing their leadership bonuses as well. So let's capture this um, farm, Orcard, food as a resource. And there needs to be a troll layer unless this map is changed, which I don't think is the case. And there is a troll layer indeed. Oh, but the troll design though. Look at this troll, boys. Holy guacamole, this troll is a big one. I mean, size doesn't matter everything. That's what she said. And we can creep this quite easily. Can we also draw swords with these guys? The answer is a no, that's not possible. And let's pick up the Elven Wood from this spellbook for now. I want to see the design. And they are dealing almost no damage to the troll here. <laughs> which is very unfortunate. And there is another settlement. So what we're going to do now is actually send one of them to this side. And what is this tower actually? Can we put units inside of that? I'm not sure. We will take a look into that. And we have also, of course, plenty of hero possibilities. For example, we have the Orofin, uh, Rumil, Haldir, Celebron, Celeborn, and also his wife, Galadriel, for 2,800. So she's pretty expensive, just like the husband. That's gonna take us some while, you know, to take down this troll here. Can we capture this or what is this actually? What is this? I don't even know what this is. But there is a settlement. Oh, yeah. Oh, builds a defensive building that fires on nearby enemies and provides a resource bonus to uh, to nearby economy pilots. Okay, let's do that. I want to see how this is looking like. I also would like to build some more uh, resource buildings. But first... Hey, I forgot there is a troll there, my friends. Don't, 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 don't. The troll is like, I'm thinking, taking the revenge of my brother, who you just killed. Like, the range of this troll is kind of nuts, not gonna lie. He killed half a battalion of us, which is not the best thing in the world. And we have also one single outside settlement. And you can see, it takes us literally one hour to destroy the one single troll there. And before recruiting any units, as you guys know me, I would love to recruit heroes first of all. And from these are the woods, I mean... Every building here in this mod is also having some specialties besides the ore cart. So this is, I believe, also provides resources. Yeah, provides wood and fletching. Wood as resource. So I believe it's like a pretty similar situation to the blacksmith and the furnaces from the Isengard faction and from the Gondor faction. Battle flat. Defensive building. 
the well for the sustain. So they have actually two shortcuts with W, which of course is not gonna work like that. Karas Kalat, uh, Galathon Barracks requires protectors of Karas Galathon. Okay. I mean, again, first heroes, then anything, everything else. Oh my goodness, this Uruks. Okay, we killed the troll, but it's... Can we also build defensive structures around? The answer is yet, but yes, but holy quackamole, they are expensive as hell. Level 2. So we will be definitely losing this area. Even the Uruks, they are not dealing too much damage to our Malone 3. Or Lorien Orcard. And there are more Uruks coming, crossbow man. Let's fight them. I want to see the damage between uh, this crossbow man from Isengard and our Lorien archers. This is not shooting, right? I'm not sure what this is actually doing. They are also leveling up like crazy. Level 3 is unlocked. Level 10 is maximum rank, just like in normal battle for middle fun. That's not changed. As you guys know, some mods are limiting the amount of maximum uh, levels down from 10 to 5. Okay, we have also one power point collected, which we could use for the heal. Looks like we will be able, barely able to win this fight against the Uruks as they are peeling back. And we have almost the money we need to recruit one of the heroes of the elves. And that's going to be, first of all, let's get uh, Haldir on the healed. A hero we have seen only in the Helm's Deep mission in Battle for Middle of One. Of course, he exists this way also in BFME 2 and in Rise of the Witch King, as you guys know. And I'm also very surprised about the tankiness of this structure. Again, mods are not meant to be balanced. They are meant to be fun. And that's why... I would never confuse the patch, you know, our patch, for example, the patch 2.22 with a mod. Our patch's goal is to make the gameplay as balanced as possible for every single faction. That means not a single faction will have a huge advantage over the other faction. More power points are rising. So let's, I mean, we can keep killing this troll all the time, you know what I'm saying? I'm also curious what Haldir is able to do. And we can also now recruit Orofin, who is a quite cheap hero for a thousand resources only. And also this dude, Rumil, is also pretty cheap. So Haldir, can we not open the gate as he's actually getting out? The answer is no. Once again, I was saying that also in the previous video, I don't like the health bar kind of thing. That doesn't look correct to me. So let's kill the Uruks first. He's able to fight with sword and bow. He has also golden leaf arrow, a strong range attack with level 2. He has the passing shadow, instantly travel to a safe location. So it's pretty much like a travel, I guess. Uh, teleport, I guess. Secret fleet uh, summons a defensive structure. And then the cloak becomes invisible when standing still. So pretty much like the Alvin cloak from the Hobbits, like Samwise Gamgee for the Baggins. Of course, Peregrine Took and also Mary Brandybuck. Oh, don't close the gates. And never mind, we can also just recruit this hero and then recruit the other two heroes. Again, power points might be able to unlock even more possibilities for us. Our archer is slowly but surely taking care of the Slayer. Took them only one hour. We should be in a good spot. They have no way of entering the castle just yet. And the creep is going to be secured by Haldir as he's hitting level 2. So in order to be able to use the Golden Leaf Arrow, you need to be using this, uh, the bow. That's very important. Let's build another structure here. Oh, there is an army Worthy of Mordor coming. Now we will test them in action. I want to see also this ability. This is like a single target. Oh yeah, it's like a single target. Great animation though. Very well done. I like that. Powerpoint wise, we have also the arrow volley. Uh, similar to the BFME 2 one. Shroud summons a thick fog. Okay. Slows enemy movement and reduces vision and range. And we have repair. So let's go for the arrow volley. I would like to see that. I'm assuming we will be able to win this fight because of Haldir. And also the level up animation looks pretty nice. Level 5 already. And they can also use the Albin Cloak. Becomes invisible buff skill. So I can't, you know, use it just yet. What happens if I... Is this like a... No, it's not like a passive thing, right? The outpost costs us 1,000, but we have also more structures available for the outpost in compared to the normal battle for middle of one. And in the outpost, we are also able to build those defensive structures. Actually, three of them. So you have three spots for the normal buildings and three spots for the defensive buildings to protect your outpost a little bit more. And we can also just build them for like a cheaper upgrade stuff, you know? So we are now once again broke, but it's fine. We will get, with this many resource buildings on the field, we will get the money we need in literally no time. And also this is pretty unique. 10,000 health. Lorien Watch Talon. That is a mill. And I'm, I, if I'm, you know, honest with you guys, I believe the Heart Army in this mod 
in compared to the normal battle for middle of one seems to be a bit more easy at least that's my first impression so needs definitely some buff look i'm attacking the units and they are finally making a move the uruk's design is also very different i personally like the normal design of the urukai but again that's about preference so we have 16, 000, uh, 1600 resources collected now we need 2800 for the celeborn and then 2800 also for um the Alvin Queen herself, Galadriel. Also very curious about how powerful she actually is in this mod, the Return of Shadow. And that's only the second faction. They will need ages, right, to destroy this building with 10,000 HP. I mean, maybe it's very vulnerable against the uh, damage. Because they are actually dealing more damage to this structure than they did to this one single resource building we had. And our archers, they also need ages to destroy the Lammer Mill from Isengard, but it's fine. Okay, so basically now we have the money. Let's go for the husband first, Celeborn. And of course, just like in the, you know, in the faction Erebor, we have seen in the previous video, we are also able to upgrade the fortress to actually unlock additional stuff, like for, for potential more heroes. So very interesting and also detailed mod. We need to protect this with Hadir. He's already level four. This is also a hero which can fight or who can fight with sword and bow has the Alvin Cloak and has the Passing Shadow. So the Teleport thing. Um, vigilant Shot, a powerful range attack. Passing Shadow and also Alvin Cloak. So pretty much like a copy-paste. They also almost look the same. Uh, let's open the gate and fight with them, shall we? And for that reason, we also need to build eventually some more defensive structures. But let's first of all save up for Galadriel. Because now we have the money for the Alvin Queen. So I can't. Can I not? I don't know. We take down this one, that's dope. So let's build another resource building around this side. Here we are able to unlock the fire upgrade, for example, the Malon bows upgrade, um, and also Love Lorien, uh, I mean, Malon staves upgrade, as well as Lorien leather carriers. It's like a siege weapon, I'm assuming. Look at this tower design. Uh, I don't like this brightness of this, you know, base that much, and also the design of the Malon trees, of the, of the Alvin trees, are not looking very detailed. And it looks like we are also not able to recruit Galadriel just yet. Maybe we need to first of all go for the fortification menu. Uh, great keep upgrades. Upgrade Citadel into a great keep which has better armor and health. And also increases command points by 150. Then we have the Talon defense upgrades. Upgrades the armor and health of all the Talons and provides vision and range bonus to nearby archers. For 2000, we have the Horn of War. That's like an active thing which we can use to buff the units inside the castle and order units to mend the defenses. So, you know what? Let's do this buff just to get it done. We have also three power points collected. So, basically, Lady of the Golden Wood. Galadriel can now be built. Galadriel is a powerful sports hero. So, we need to collect six power points for that. What is that? Vision of Galadriel. Galadriel's vision, visions reveal the entire map. Okay. It's a passive skill, which means it's going to be active all the time. You will be able, once you unlock this from your spellbook, to see the entire map 24-7. That's kind of busted. 12 power points for the March of the Galadrim. Increased production speed for Lorien range units for a short time. Pretty much like the Cold Horde version from the Mordor faction. In this case, also applying on the Love Lorien. 12 power points for Summon Mifrandia. Summon Mifrandia the White to the battle. Remember, also the Erebor faction could get the chance to summon Gandalf with a different name. Every faction in Middle-earth was calling Gandalf with a different name, pretty much. Protection of the Lady. Okay, Protection of the Lady. All units gain 50% damage, 75% armor, 20, 20 range, and knockback and fear resistance for a short time. Interesting. And I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in this 1v2 situ... What is this? Do you see this damage, guys, from this... Like, this shot... I don't know what to say. Where is my Haldir at? Did I actually lose my Haldir? No. He's here. He needs to do stuff. Oh, they are actually inside the jeans. I don't know if they are dying or not. Can't tell. So, Celeborn, you need to do stuff, my friend. This guy is now finally recruited. And by the time we were talking, he's already level 5. And he has the Lord of Low Florian leadership bonus for the nearby units. 50% armor, 30% damage, double experience, and knockback, knock, knockback, knockback immunity. Then we have also Silver Blade with level 2, but he needs to use the sword. I can't activate this. Oh, I can. But it looks like a passive thing, but you can activate that. 
deals a heavy damage that um, you know deals a heavy attack that deals damage and causes enemies to cover in fear. We have also the Lord's Fever, pretty much like the experience King's Fever from Theodin, for example. Uh, protective warding level 8 targets allied structures gain additional armor for a short time and last but not least hello when within Galadri galadriel's hello ground enemies are slowed and take damage over time it's like a poison thing if i'm not mistaken now we have six power points collected which means we get now finally the chance to recruit the alvin queen so we will with that have all the heroes on the field which is pretty dope Okay, they are also attacking us all the time, which is nice for us because we will get this way more and more power points unlocked from the spell book all the time. You know what? Just build more towers just to feel a bit more safe. Towers are extremely expensive. They cost 800 each, and I'm assuming they are also targetable from normal units. Like the design of the Lothlorien castle looks definitely a bit different in compared to the castle of Rohan and Gondor we know from Battle for Middle Earth 1. So it has some protection with the walls, but the design is definitely super different. So let's wait for Galadriel before we make a move. And also let's try to protect this. This is a tanky building, my friend. Like 8,500 health for a resource building. That's just not balanced. So peel back. Where is Haldir at? Haldir, my friend, I need you. So you guys stay next to each other. This way they can share experiences, you know, which is always nice. Okay. Oh, the sound of the game was muted. Sorry for that, guys. Now it should be better. And I will, I'm assuming you cannot level up heroes, right? Units, of course. Skin experience. Level 7. Again. Oh, there comes Galadriel, boys. Rank 1, 2600 HP. And uh, I believe she's also quite tanky. She's with level 1 tankier than her husband, <laughs> Celeborn. In, you know, imagine you are married with Galadriel. You know what I'm saying? You need to obey. You need to obey. You need to do what she tells you to do. Trust me, that one. And what is that? Lady of Lothlorien, leadership bonus to nearby units, 50% armor, 30 damage, double experience, pretty much the same like her husband. Uh, the inner voice, target gets vision of doubt in their mind, slowing them and weakening their resolve. Grace of the lady, speeds up targets a light timer, so pretty much ability timer will be uh, resetted or reloading a bit faster. Nenya unleashed. Galadriel gains a large knockback on her attack and speed and damage boost. Buff skill with level 7. Lost Light. A blast of starlight damages nearby enemies. And last but not least, also head out ground. Yeah. So we have also, I mean, she's pretty much like identical with the husband, to be honest with you. Anyways, now with all the heroes on the field, we can make a move. Let's recapture the settlements we have lost. And first of all... Where are our Lorien Arches at? I'm very curious. So let's get all the upgrades purchased as well. We have so much money. We can do whatever we want to do. Oh, I shouldn't have not used that in my opinion. So we are we are going to eventually lose this area. And there are our Arches at. Can you, guys, can you please protect this? Because it's all about to take him down after one hour time. Let's grab this settlement. The thing is, when you are taking... When you are making a mod like this for Battle for Middle Earth 1, I believe you also need to modify the army. The hard army. You know, the easy army. The AI generally has to be modified this guy has like a crazy auto attack animation like you see this sword looks like the blade of purity a little bit from uh, you know glorfindel and bfme 2 slash in the rise of the witch king we will be able to take it down in no time there are dwarves so dwarves and isengard combined are against us let's close the gate just to feel a bit more safe let's demolish one of the buildings and now we can finally take a look into training hall trains lorian arches wardens uh, Marsh Wardens and Galadrim Warriors. And we have the Lothlorien Hold. Provides basic training, heavy armor, forge plates and Lorien cloak upgrades. I mean, I believe these are different upgrades than this one we were just purchasing. I'm assuming we will be able to protect ourselves, but it looks like that these towers are actually not able to reach out to these units. And also not to these units. Oh, there is Grima Wormtongue. Grima Wormtongue, my dudes. I'm coming for you. The Fellowship of Lor Lorien, boys. We have in total five heroes so far. But again, we might unlock even more heroes in the future. From the PowerPoint spellbook. Who knows? So, this one is going to be eventually protected. Yeah, for now, it's good. We are also getting some more Dwarven units to take care of. We have seven PowerPoints collected. You know what I want to do? I want to summon Mifrandi in this one. 
And also I would like to summon the ants just to see how they look like. This is going down definitely, but it's fine. The buildings are, some of them are also building up quite slowly. And also guys, let me please know in the comment section down below, what do you think about this mod so far? Uh, it's a very interesting mod. Look this guy, I wanna, I wanna see that. Can I right click on it? Yes. Oh my god, this guy is getting pinpolled, you know? He got killed from like, this two arches in literally no time. Okay, now we should be able to protect ourselves, right? I mean, the shots are... It looks like they are dealing crazy amount of damage with the shots because of the animation, but they are actually not dealing that much damage. <laughs> Just looks like it, you know what I'm saying? Looks like a big guy with like, you know, who has not enough strength. Also looks like a budget Aragorn to me, this guy, I bet, you know? So, Vork Riders. Okay, 10 power points collected. We need two more only for the Mifrandia summon. Which is pretty nice. And from this structure, we can also buy more upgrades. Banner carrier, heavy armor, forge plates, and also Lorien cloaks. Ah, now it makes sense. So basically, if you don't know what's happening, the Lorien archers we had at the beginning of the game, they have like an Alvin cloak ability, which is something you need to first of all purchase to be able to use it. But then you can get your units to become invisible, which is pretty insane if you ask me. So let's demolish that. And what is that? Tribute to Nimrodel. Okay, that's like a statue. Uh, Tamas builds Lorien elite units. Let's try that out. I want to see the elite units first. And I was also kind of expecting a bit more action by playing against two armies at the same time. So maybe we should also play against seven armies at the same time to make it more challenging. I wanted to play a bit slowly because I don't know what this mod is all about yet. And this Galadriel, do you see that, guys? She's like a ranged one. She's like impacting the battle from a safe distance. 12 power points collected. Say no more. But I won't use this, you know, Mifrandia summon just yet. The Berserk skill is, or skin looks pretty nice. That's pretty annoying, though, that you cannot attack them like this. Um, the well. Galatom barracks. So let's try this barracks. So you have many, many different production buildings with this faction. And this is almost up on the field. That's dope. So we've purchased literally everything. You can also buy these ladders. The siege weapons. <laughs> can I go out? No, you need to open the gate. Like the gate? <laughs> the gate is... What is going <laughs> The gate, dude. Like, do you see that? Some shenanigans. You know, maybe Galadriel is putting some spell on the gate. To make this... You know, the gate is spinning around like crazy. Oh, there is Saruman. Say no more, I got you. Gandalf, it's your time to shine. Level 10, Sander. Knocks back and stands nearby enemies. So, what is that? A powerful... I want to see. And he's also mounted. He has leadership too. 300 person combat experience. Holy Quackamole, let's use Lightning Sword. And pretty much identical. And I'm, assu I'm assuming also Easter Light is identical. Galadriel is crazy, my dude. Like, he's, she's knocking down everything. And literally one-shooting Saruman too? Are you kidding me? The time remaining from Gandalf is going down like crazy. And I cannot use that. I cannot use that. Okay. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Look at the ladder. That's also very interesting. So, we are inside Erevor now. And once again, as you can see, we have no possibility of changing the difficulty we have only the chance defensive army rush army and balanced army i didn't want to pick a defensive one they are not even able to shoot them you see that so lots of improvements have to be done to this mod definitely definitely i think it's not finished yet you know it's just a little bit too buggy so let's recruit the galadrim warriors elite unit can use both bow and sword strong versus everything except heroes and with level 3, we are able to get the Amrov Vanguard. Okay? Oh, we need to close the gate. Like, I'm not, I'm not sure why these structures are not able to attack. I can't tell it. So we need to def uh, defend this ASAP. Our heroes, they seem to be kind of impossible to kill. And we might be able... Wait a second. Oh, hold on a second. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Don't die. Let's heal. Okay, where are, our, where are the other heroes at? Okay, they are trying to defend this, which is good. Hydra is level almost 8. Hydra, you need to move, my friend. You need to show your quality. Okay, let's build 
here. We built this one already. We also built this one already. So let's go for the Lothlorien Hold. We already built that. Lothlorien Training Hall. Okay, the Lothlorien Hold. Uh, we keep losing it, right? Oh, yeah. Um, let's build this here. Hopefully, we will be able to do that. Because the towers, they are not able to reach out to this Uruks. For whatever reason. And again, I am not a big fan of this change to the to the health bar of the heroes. That, that doesn't look right to me, you know. Hold on a second. Can I build this? Yeah, I can. No, I can't. I can't. It's like a leadership thing. Okay, so we need to bail. Hold on a second. I want to use the arrow wallet. Let's see how this is looking like. Okay, it damages them a little bit, which is kind of okay because it only costs you 3 power points. So it's not like bursting them down. So let's group all the heroes together. And looks like we will be losing this building once again. That's pretty annoying. Let's give them fire arrows, um, heavy armor too. But I purchased the heavy armor, didn't I? Oh man. Apparently I didn't. So we have so much money. Um, just replace the building. He might have taken it down before I could get the chance to purchase the heavy armor. No, that's not true. Ah, sometimes it's packed, that's why. Forge blades. So give them all the upgrades. Now we can demolish that. We don't need that. And also go for a, a, this structure here. Inside the base. This outpost is kind of annoying to defend, to be honest. Can I also build like a defensive structure? Yeah, I can build defensive structures also at the outpost. It's in the normal, regular buildings, you know? So please, guys, stay together. Okay, you bail. Can I carry upgrade to them also? There we go. I believe they are quite strong, these units. I hope so. So we need definitely more of them. Let's recruit as many as possible. Okay, so you guys. E, get them all the upgrades. No, I can't. You see, something is like bugged. I don't know what it is though. Can't tell. Level 9. We have also heal available now from the spellbook. Let's use the Alvin Wood. I want to see how this is looking like. Okay, looks pretty much like the OG version of the Battle for Middle Earth 1. Now we have only defensive structures here. And hopefully with that, we should be able to protect ourselves. We have 12 power points collected, which means we could go if you wanted to to the end summon. And I would like to skip that for now. And because I want to see the 24, the protection of the lady. You know, I want to see that. The ultimate one. Because I'm afraid that we might not get the chance to collect the power points after that since I'm assuming we'll be, we will be able to win the fight until this is going to happen. So I'm not able to purchase upgrades on them for whatever reason. Uh, Karas Kalaton Guardians, spear units, and also the Watchmen. So, X-Men units. So you know what? Let's send them to this spot. Alright, let's destroy this camp now in the middle. So Lothlorien overall seems to be busted. <laughs> like, literally busted. I feel like it's just strong. Maybe it's a little bit too strong. Especially Lady Galadriel, Holy Quacamole. Look what she's able to do, you know? Also, this guy is extremely tanky. But now, of course, every hero beside Galadriel is level 10 already. So that means there is little to nothing they can do. And also, the Arrow Volley is able to reload quite fast. Guys, can you move, please? Come on now, why am I not able to buy it? I don't get it. <laughs> That's triggering me. Let's demolish the structure. It's annoying when you get attacked all the time and you get the notification, you know? Let's build defensive structures in the meantime. Again, it looks like it's dealing crazy amount of damage, am I right? But it's not dealing crazy amount of damage that much. The shot animation is kind of also kind of crazy. <laughs> and again, I need to repeat myself. I know it's annoying, but I really don't like this HP bar of these heroes. Not even a little bit. It's so confusing, especially when you don't know what's actually happening around you, you know? So let's demolish this and try to build the armory one more time. Just to see if something is wrong with that. Because some units you can upgrade them, some units you can't. Okay, let's give them all the upgrades. Okay. Remember these units? They are like the special units, the Galadrim Warriors. They are also able to switch between bow and sword. Just like the Elven units from the Rohan faction in normal battle for middle of one. 21 power point collected. And just go ham, my friends. Just go ham. Oh, there is some shenanigans happening around the Citadel of the Isengard faction. Also, new design for the, for the camp. I like that. You guys can also get all the upgrades. Just why not? Oh, we are broke now. Okay. So, upgrades are actually quite expensive. So, let's try to take down this area. Lift the units. 
Malon Steve's upgrade. The upgrades has already been purchased. What is that actually doing for us? I'm not even sure. I couldn't I didn't even read. My bad. Okay. Um we should be able to take down this area in no time. We have 23 power points collected. We need a little bit more. A little bit more. Look at this defense. What is going on? Okay. We should be getting there very, very soon. 24. Nice. Again, that's not permanent. We will get more damage and more armor as well as more range and fear resistant. For the entire map. For all the units. Which is not bad at all. The resource buildings. Holy moly. They are so tanky. Even with forge plates, it takes you a long time to take them down. Okay, let's get them heavy armor. Even though it's so expensive, my dudes. 800 for heavy armor. Holy quackamole. Uh, let's use this. Wait. Oh, it does like zero damage to the Guardians. Zero. Okay, what we need are those Vanguards. This camp is going to be taken down very soon. It looks so funny. I don't know what she's doing. She's trying to do something like, you know, from a, from a safe distance. She's also level 10. Oh. That heals. Okay, that heals. And this one is different. Right? That one is different. I can also use this. There's like an active thing which I can target. Okay, now it makes sense. It damages and causes fear. The silver light from this dude. Okay, we have ten. Uh, we have 7 power points collected. Which means we can also go now eventually for the cloud break. Question mark. Maybe not. Shroud. Uh, I would like to go save for the end, end allies because then we have some siege weapons to break through the, you know, the defense of the Erebor faction. How much do I need to pay for that? 2,000 just like a normal BFMU one. Okay, you guys um, get also upgrades. Heavy armor too. Wait until it's purchased. Then we can make a attack on this outpost. I'm afraid that the pikemen, as they are countered by the enemy guardians, it, that they might just die, you know, to them. So that's why I was recruiting one of these units. Let's go. You guys destroy this. Now we need to save money for the 2,000 to be able to capture this settlement. I want to see the damage from this Elven Archers or Galadrim Warriors rather against the structures too. Okay, we are killing everything at this point. We are killing literally everything. Are we winning this fight though? I'm not sure. You see how tanky the structures is? Our R rather. That's pretty <laughs> crazy. Okay, these units are actually dealing a great amount of damage. Resource buildings are really extremely tanky. Like normally, in a normal situation with Forge Plates and Battle for Middle of One, you can take down the Lamrimiers in literally no time. Come on now, almost 2000. I would like to see how this is looking like. Normally, there are ruined towers. You can put units inside of that, you know? You can still use. Oh, never mind. You can put units inside of that. I didn't know that. Okay, let's try that. Maybe we can do that here. I don't know. Like he's trying to protect us. And hold on. So let's try to get this. There we go. And then put one of the elven archer units we have. This one. Inside of that eventually, you know. Let's buy this camp. There we go. We have three heroes, dude. Look how long it takes. To <laughs> That's crazy. Like the structural damage is like really bad. Yeah, come on now, you know. Are you supposed to hit like a building for like an hour to take it down? I'm not sure. But apparently you have to do that, yes. So this is coming up and you are able to put units inside of that. And they will be like this. Now they can defend defend this area. So let's build and let them handle the situation. That's how a camp looks, looks like. Once again, you are able to build the small towers for 300. We also need a lot of resource buildings, boys. We are kind of broke. So let's build three of them to get some more money. I mean, we are broke, but we have also lots of really, really beefy and strong units on the fields now at this point. So now, hold on a second. Let's capture this. That's the plan. Let's capture this. Okay. Let's summon Gandalf. And also, let's summon the ants. Okay. The end design, though, that looks pretty... And they're coming, they're coming instantly. They have like zero animation time. So let's kill this trebuchet. Or catapults on top of the wall. Gandalf can actually dies very fast. It's like a small version of the uh, seeds. It. It's like a very small version. What is happening here? 
of the water of power which does barely any damage to be honest with you so can i actually destroy can i destroy the gate our archers they can be put inside of that right okay and also let's build more towers here because we are being attacked 24 7 ff is the shortcut here i would like to build a well and also eventually um the statue you know i believe this is this right tribute yeah are we able to do anything here the answer is no so we have no extra oh yeah look at this oh okay so we can still do stuff tribute upgrades allows tributes to be built from the end mood a march of the ends upgrades improved end resistance against axes and flame reduce reduces end build speed and increases their movement speed elvin okay elvin lorian elves can auto heal out of combat uh, galadrim guard <coughs> armor sorry improves haldir orofin and rumin's health armor and damage let's do this upgrade some of the spells in your spellbook with new improvements ah now it makes sense i believe that's going to unlock the last ability from mifrandia i'm assuming melee units can uh, get improved uh, defense against slash and pierce damage and markmanship range units can increase range and accuracy i would like to get this one first okay this is also loading up quite fast so we lost this area but it's okay my hero is hitting like a truck so let's peel and you guys please take care of this area too Looks like we are not even able to destroy this area. And Gandalf, my dude, is reloading extremely fast. So, we might get the chance to actually unlock literally everything from this spellbook. But for that reason, we need, first of all, money, money, money. So, let's capture the settlement. And also, this area is not as well protected as I was assuming it, you know, would be. So, you guys, come here, please, the heroes. And you defend for now, okay? That's your plan maybe i you can you guys can try to finish off this um outpost from dwarves you know with the help of gandalf of course can i now use the ability yeah now i can use the ability knocks back and stuns nearby enemies weakens enemy wizards deals heavy damage to structures oh, okay that's what i want to test so get here in the middle gandalf oh yeah that actually deals crazy amount of damage that's what i was needing you know what? Let's close the gates. Galadriel is in a safe spot. There is a huge army. I want to see the damage also against the Zita with the Easter Light. Let's see. He deals like zero damage to the Citadel. Not gonna lie. Let's throw the swords and fight this. Okay. You know what? You know me. I want to have all this stuff. All this stuff. And for that reason, we need a lot of money. Okay. Um, increase production speed for Lorien range units for a short time so we might need that our heroes they are in a good spot right right so let's help this guys please okay can we take this down though hey guy please don't die i need you let's use actually this and let's peel because they are so expensive these units you know and also arrow volley does like do nothing to be honest with you but i like Kanzov. he's reloading extremely fast okay let's get this and also fight for this area that is saruman i want to see galadriel against saruman let's do this this guy is so strong man holy moly like he's really strong you see galadriel's damage okay and you can galadriel use the this ground for healing some shenanigans are happening for sure it's so hard to follow up what's actually going on Okay, we, we are healing up over time. That's dope. And I'm assuming slowly but surely, we will also be able to take down this outpost. Okay, you guys take care of this, please. That's going to take you only 10 minutes. And, 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 and. Hold on. What I'd like to do is get all these upgrades. This has been purchased. This has been, okay, we are only mi missing this one. We don't need that, though. At least not for now. So now, let's recruit more of this skilled units from this structure right where is the structure again not this structure this no here galadrim warriors so they are extremely expensive they cost a thousand resources my friends a thousand so then after collecting some of these units we will be trying our best to destroy this opponent right around this side which hopefully will work out for us 
Genau. Okay, let's buy this outpost for a thousand resources. Take down this one slowly but surely. We have nine power points collected, which we might use also for the cloud break. Just to stun the enemy units for a little bit. That's the plan. Our heroes are MVPs, to be honest with you. They are like they are really, really effective. Where are our units at? Are they dead? Can you target them also when they are on the on the tree? I'm not sure. I think you can. Like the damage against resource buildings is just so bad. And my game is crashing right now. We crashed the game, boys. We crashed the game. What is happening? And yeah, my game crashed. Holy moly, are you kidding me? Guys, my game crashed. My game crashed. Okay. Uh, we won't be able to finish them off, but I think we have seen everything from the faction regardless. What is important. And, uh, you know, I'm an honest person. I don't like... I didn't like this faction or this mod generally that much. I think the idea behind this is great. Like, lots of great stuff. A lot of work has been put into that. So, I appreciate, of course, the work. Don't blame the work at all. But I am... Um, trying to give like a criticism I don't like like many many of this stuff it's just like doesn't make any sense for example like the damage output against the resource buildings which makes you you know fight against that for like three minutes straight to be able to take it down uh, the health part of the heroes like many of this stuff is kind of more annoying than interesting at least in my personal opinion and for that reason I believe unless you guys want to see more of this mod in the future I would like to stop uh, producing more videos for this mod and also you should consider uh, rethinking your choice if you want to give it a shot I believe this has to get a lot of fixes done you know before publishing it one more time uh, like you saw the gate of Lothlorien it was just too buggy and I don't know I think with a bit more rework of the factions rework of the design it might be to one of the greatest mods of all time but as it is right now, I have like my high doubts that, you know, it's it's fun, especially not for multiplayer, because there is just a lot of bugs you will run into and bugs are just horrible to deal with. Anyways, guys, I hope this was at least enjoyable for you. If it was, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more content like this in the future. And also let me know in the comment section down below what video should we make next. 1v7 challenge once again in battle for middle of one or would you like to see multiplayer games me playing 1v1s 2v2s against real players again let me know in the comment section down below i see you next time until then keep hitting like a truck and as always stay beyond standards peace out